the heart and soul of the film is a guy who's brutally honest and is not going to succumb to anybody else's rules. He's going to do his own thing. Uh, and, you know, he's, he's just brutally honest. You know, that's what his students love about him. Even if he's giving them crap most of the time, nobody else is telling them the truth. You know, they've been getting yes to death forever, and they find it extremely entertaining and cathartic that this guy is in there just telling them what it is you know you're not going to be a writer you have this talent you have that talent if you don't it's just not going to happen except to find something that you're good at and do that and then when you perfect one thing then move on to something else but until then figure it out stop wasting your parents money go home and get a job Rupert said get as thin as possible and then you know once I start doing something I become obsessed with it and so boogie nights I got down to 138 so I was like I gotta beat that so I beat that by a pound, but you know, at 42, it's not as easy. I was 25 then. All I literally had to do then was smoke cigarettes and just eat tomato soup. And this time it was like exercise, liquid diet for six weeks, and jumping rope for three hours a day. But you know what? That was that was an interesting thing for me to do because I wanted my whole world, other than being able to detach for the moments that I could be with my family and my my, my wife and my kids, to be about this. So between preparing to be a, believable as a literary professor and being you know, believable looking the part. I just had to do what I had to do.